Joe Joyce versus Derek Chisora, Saturday, July 27th. Now, Joe Joyce is a 38, 38 year old fighter who is 16 wins, two losses. Derek Chisora is two years his senior at 40 with 34 wins, 13 losses. So now while Derek has more than doubled the number of professional fights that Joe has, Joe had quite a few more amateur fights. He had over 60 amateur fights and was a member of the Olympic team in Rio. Whereas Chisora had a mere three amateur fights, um, presumably as a sub-novice, so the, the rounds were only two minutes long. Now, let's take a look at each, rec each fighter's record. So the two losses that uh, Joe Joyce has were both at the hand of Gilles Jean. Um, back to back losses. Uh, first, first fight, um, Joe got stopped on some cuts and really swollen eye. Uh, the second fight, the rematch with Zhang was quite definitive because um, Zhang managed to catch him with a one punch KO. It was actually quite brilliant on, on Zhang's part. And in fact, I, I have to say that Joe Joyce really didn't look too bad at all in losing that fight because what Zhang did was set up a simultaneous counter. Um, in other words, while Joe Joyce was looking to counter with his right hand, uh, Zhang tagged him with basically sort of a cross between a, a left or a right jab and his right cross, a right hook rather, since he's fighting out of southpaw. But um, since it was simultaneous, there was really nothing that, um, that Joe Joyce could have done to prevent that punch from landing other than simply not be there and not throw his counter right. Uh, in any case, he has some significant KOs. We should remember he's, he's got um, KOs versus Joseph Parker, Carlos Tucam, and Daniel Dubois. Now, on the other side of the coin, it's interesting to note who Derek Chisora has lost to because that reads like a who's who Hall of Fame. He's fought Tyson, Derek Chisora's fought Tyson Fury three times course all losses but he didn't look uh, quite as bad or take as quite as much damage as did um, Deontay Wilder in, in, in his trilogy trilogy rather with uh, Tyson Fury. Um, Derek Trezor has also lost to Joseph Parker two times to Alexander Usyk, he's lost to Dillian White, David Hay and Vitaly Klitschko. But overall, I have to say, in some cases, Derek Chisora looked better losing than Joe Joyce did winning in some of his fights in terms of some of the fundamentals. Here's what I like about Derek Chisora's fighting uh, style. Um, first, he, he looks best, because he's a smaller heavyweight, he looks best when he's kind of channeling Joe Frazier. And from my understanding, that's, that's his boxing hero. So you have the double cross guard with both forearms kind of held out in front of the chest or the head and you just have to stay in constant perpetual motion with your elbows out and constantly bobbing and weaving back and forth as you make as he makes his way as we say to the inside. Now the great thing about using that type of defensive shell is off each bob and weave um, Derek can throw a very hard body shot because his, his body positioning and his torso is, is turned such that he's, he's got great torque for a body shot on, on the same side that he's loaded up on. Also, if he weaves over to his left, he could either throw the left hook to the body or he could spring up and throw that left hook to the head, which is kind of what made Joe Frazier fra famous when he dropped Ali with that type of punch. Another one of Derek's uh, bread and butter punches is the overhand right, of course. Again, that's always a bread and butter punch for someone who knows that they're going to be the shorter fighter. And again, that can be thrown from a, a low crouching position as well. And the great thing about an overhand right from that position is it's somewhat blind for the, for the opponent. They can't really see the angle at which that overhand right is coming to, um, to quickly move or block it. The great thing that uh, Derek has um, 
both the overhand right and a left body body shot at his disposal is that one can play both those punches off against each other meaning you could fake the left body shot come with the overhand right or vice versa come come like you can fake like you're gonna go for the right overhand right and come with the left body shot second aspect of Chisora's game that I like is that his footwork is actually pretty decent um, I like that he's always on balance and he what he'll do is take these short little almost jogging steps sometimes um, when he's on the outside just to kind of close to mid distance and then try to work his way in Derek's also not afraid to make it a little grindy and get in a clinch, as we say, and make it a little bit uh, dirty on the inside. Maybe Tyson Fury didn't want to deal with that, and so hence he, he did what he did and, you know, threw a shot and pushed Derek down in, in their fight. Now there's a, a couple of areas of concern for Derek Chisora. The first and foremost is um, his conditioning. Not that he's one to come in necessarily out of shape, but in order to maintain that Joe Frazier style of constant perpetual motion, bobbing and weaving from a low crouched position, that takes a ton of energy, as well as throwing those hard body shots. It just takes so much energy, and um, you can tell at, at moments when um, Chizora wants to kind of take a break from that style of fighting, he'll tend to stand straight up, and that's when he tends to get in trouble because that's just not a good, uh, it's not a good stance for him being the smaller heavyweight. Another area of concern for him is a counter right hand, and, and uh, Joe Joyce does have a good right hand. Um, Chisora is particularly open for a counter right hand when he comes down to jab to the body. So he does need to make, you know, be aware of that and either um, block or position his head correctly, like um, almost an extreme, extreme 90 degree angle to, in order to try to avoid that right hand from uh, Joe Joyce. But truly my main concern with Der Derek Chisora is, is that he'll just sort of stand straight up and try to just take Joe Joyce's punches, which um, for all of the things I could fault Joe Joyce for, he does have powerful punches. So that's not a good strategy to adopt. Like, I'll just eat your punches. Uh, you don't want to do that with Joe Joyce. Finally, though, what I do really like about Jer Derek Chisora is that he's always willing to fight. He's always coming to fight. Um, he doesn't back down. And so he's always in a fun fight for that fact. Now, let's take a look at Joe Joyce. Now, in spite of having all this amateur uh, fight experience under his belt, um, I'm a little surprised that a few fundamentals weren't addressed with Joe. Um, but let's go over the positive points first. He does use a power jab, both to the head and to the body, which is a big credit to him because as the taller guy, sometimes um, they don't necessarily want to jab to the body, but um, Joyce does use that as an effective weapon. He also has a really good uh, jab, straight right hand, probably his best combination. And um, Joe mixes up the target with that, that with that right hand, so he'll sometimes throw it to the body, sometimes to the head, um, and that just keeps his opponent kind of guessing as to as to where the where, where the right hand is going to go. Now, my areas of concern with Joe Joyce is sometimes when he throws combinations. He leaves his opposite hand, um, he leaves his guard open because his opposite hand uh, goes a little bit wide. So for example, sometimes we call that like a bow and arrow motion. When one throws the jab, the right hand is standing, instead of being right close to the chin, it gets uh, moved out or back a little bit as if you were drawing the bow on an arrow. Um, another thing I noticed with Joe is that when he throws his right uppercut, he really dro drops his right hand pretty low to throw it. And again, in that moment, he is open um, for a left hook. Finally, with um, Joe Joyce, uh, and, th and this is what I noticed uh, with him from the amateurs, is that he's a little bit awkward in terms of trying to coordinate his hands and his feet. He's a little bit flat-footed. He's the kind of guy that I don't know he would make the, the greatest spectacle on the, on the dance floor, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm just curious if his coaches all along have 
gotten him to jump rope or just do drills where you know you're just constantly just stepping and throwing say a jab along with your lead left foot making sure that you land and throw your punch lands and your foot lands simultaneously so you can get your hands and feet together you can also do a drill to coordinate hands and feet on the speed bag so you every time you throw your hand on the bag you tap your foot um, right foot left foot and uh, try to just match the same rhythm with your feet as you are with your hands now finally m my final concern with Joe Joyce is for the Zhili Zhang uh, fights he put on 30 pounds he went from the 250s to the 280s and I'm not sure if that's going to help him overall no, it's not a heavyweight's game to sort of be fleet-footed and run around the ring. That's certainly not Joe Joyce's game. But having 30 more pounds to carry around the ring, while it might put a little more force on your punch, because force equals mass times acceleration, um, it just also uses a lot of oxygen for you to, uh, to move and to feed all those muscles with oxygen. Now that said, since Joe already has the size advantage against Derek Chisora in terms of height and weight and reach, um, perhaps this big size will serve him well and um, in spite of any of his technical flaws, he can simply overpower Derek Chisora with his powerful juggernaut punches. Now Derek Chisora seems to be playing it off like he's being a little bit flippant about the whole affair like saying oh well this isn't a do or die fight because I still have two more fights I'm gonna fight one more once more in the UK and then once I think he says in Africa somewhere I'm not sure if that's just part of Derek's it's certainly it's part of his personality but I'm not sure if it's also sort of a ploy to sort of lull everybody into thinking he's not really super serious about this fight or he doesn't really care um, but I certainly hope he is training hard and that he comes in in the best condition um, so that he can maintain that sort of Joe Frazier-esque style where he looks, he looks the best. Who do you see winning between Joe Joyce and Derek Chisora? How will they win? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please feel free to leave a super thanks by scrolling over to your right or you can head over to buymeacoffee.com slash Hamaguchi fight and buy a coffee. Thanks again for listening.